Jesus is the only way to God. Jesus said, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Every Hello, Oh, this is the boy that I'm walk, but it's a crazy ass day. So, that's, that's who that is in the background. But yeah, I'm here. He's headed my way, but I see I'm not going to go for the chill. Yo, what's up with the food squad? I'm already out of um, therapy. As y'all can see, I'm already getting right to my crib. And I'm feeling tired as hell. It's just imagine, guys, sleeping, not going for days, weeks, months without sleeping, really. And having to go to therapy, that shit is a workout, man. Like, I literally had to buy me this drink because it's like, damn. I just feel so damn tired, out of breath, in pain. And it's freaking hot out here, so I'm glad I actually got the bus. But I hope you are enjoying your day. And I'm about to go inside my house and lay down. And just lay down and relax. And I'll see y'all in a little bit, though. Chill. Yo, what's up with the juice squad? I'm back. Uh, I'm just chilling right here. In the room is freaking hot. You got wondering what's this on my face? It's a bumblebee band aid because I was bleeding earlier. I told my little brother to bring me a napkin, but he ended up bringing me a band aid and he put it on me. So I was just like, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna shower in a little bit, so I'm gonna take it off and clean it up because I had this circle on me. It wasn't a pimple, it was, I don't know what it was. I don't know if something bit me or what, but it was really hard. And I'll try to pull it off, put it on nothing. My little brother pulled it off for a while. No, I'm not bad. I take that back. I popped it with the needle. And it was like white pus coming out. And then after that, I told my little brother to pull it off. He pulled it off and then it started bleeding. That was the other day. But then today, it had already got scabbed. So I was messing with it, pulled it off, it started bleeding. So instead of him bringing me the clinics, he bought me the damn band-aid. So I was like, whatever, you know, I ain't tripping. Uh, <laughs> and it's funny because when, I don't know, you're probably too young if you don't know who Nelly is, but... It was a thing back in the day to have, you know, bandages or whatever right here. You know what I'm saying? It was a thing. I, I used to be that dude that had that damn thing right here. You know what I'm saying? Me and one of my cousins, you know. That was just a damn thing. We'd literally be like, oh, it's because I have something. But we really, in reality, we didn't have shit. And <laughs> we'd just say that, you know. So, we would, I guess what people wouldn't be like, these niggas right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, So, it was a thing. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hey. <laughs> But anyways, though, yeah, we're just sitting right here. Like, my little brother, his daily routine, basically, he gets up, he be on his damn, he eats sometimes, sometimes, but usually he gets up and takes his medicines, because this fool got real bad asthma and all kinds of other problems with himself. And he, he'll get up, he'll, like, shower or eat whatever, and then he, he, uh, he either is on his iPad Xbox One, or he, he has his own damn Toys R Us, Man Cave, Kid Cave, downstairs, where all his toys are. It's a closet literally with all his toys. Or my Nintendo Switch. Or his Nintendo Switch. Or he even got said, what's the other one? Nintendo DS? Mm. Or no? Wait, no. It is a Nintendo DS. Yeah. The, yeah, he got some Nintendo DS too. And then now we got the old PlayStation, or we got the Nintendo 64. So he'll be playing one of, one of them systems or whatever, or not like when he gets tired, he'll just be playing with his toys like right now my parents bought him this Slink. the slinky from toy story because he's into toy story right now so they got him this they got him a buzz and usually he'll be playing with those buzz i showed y'all in one of like my other last videos he that damn up there <laughs> and, and he'll be chilling or whatever doing that but usually we're chill leave that there we can show that too we just be chilling in my room. 
or not like he usually he'll rotate he'll be in here for the morning then like around 12 1 he'll go downstairs be down there till like probably four then he comes back up then he'll be back he goes literally up and down up and down he'll be up and down whatever and then at night time he's just stuck with me oh we'll be watching youtube videos or whatever uh <laughs> And, yeah, usually we'll just be chilling. We used to sometimes watch the news, but I literally, like, I had announced a while back, like, I don't have no more cable in my room. So, because they charged my parents to get a new box because they switched from Time Warner to Spectrum, something like that. Because when we was with Time Warner, my dad was paying way too much. So, they switched over to Spectrum. And, like, um, what's called it? So, I didn't get a box. So, that's why I don't have any cable. Um... But yeah, uh, it's Good basically okay. what we we just be we just been chilling. You know what I'm saying? And I did go to the doctor earlier. It was my last day of therapy, and the only reason for that is because, like I said, oh, I don't know if I said it or did, but basically the therapy is not helping no more. It's not helping really at all because I'm just already in so much pain. And uh, my therapist said it's because of the other syndrome that I have that has to do a lot with your nerve system. It literally, I need to actually be thrown over now to a pain doctor because therapy won't do it for it, not, nothing no more. So, and I have all these doctor's appointments, so you're all going to be seeing me go to a lot of doctor's appointments. This is this dude's penguin since he was a baby. And this damn dog, my mom had it. Then she gave it to him. He was in so much good condition, guys. And. His eyes been bitten on, and he just looked like he's about to die. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I have a lot of doctor's appointments coming up. I got a doctor's appointment on the 11th. Then I got one on the 17th. Then I got one on the 25th. But the 25th, I'm trying to get in sooner because that's the one for plastics. The one for the 17th is for my, um, it's for my freaking insomnia. And on the 11th, I really have no idea what, that's going to be the first time I go to that clinic. I don't even have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to be looking forward to in that clinic. I think it's something about hormones or something like that. Because since I did have a big old procedure back in 2017 done as well to prepare from getting cancer. So they did have to take out a lot of shit. And it was something from, I was like, oh, shit, I'm only 30 years old and I go through freaking menopause. Because they took it out a bunch of organs and... I guess that's the reason why I'm always like, I get really mad now. I get fucking pissed off fast. I, I don't like freaking. And I, I guess the way I see life is the way life is actually supposed to be seen. And so when somebody tries to tell me otherwise and tells me different, it's just like, man, you're freaking, you're crazy. Like you're actually damn mind. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like. You know, it's just, I don't know, guys, it's just crazy, but, like, I, I, like, ever since all that happened, ever since this surgery, I just, like, I get really mad, ticked off fast, and when I get mad, I go beyond over saying the most craziest, hurtfulest shit ever, so that's why I try to, you're gonna tear your shirt! Wow, that was good. I love so that's why I try to tell, you know, that's why I try to just stay in my own zone, like, honestly, like, even with my mom, I try to, you know, like, I literally, you know, freaking, I got really upset the other day. I think it was, like, last week. And, like, so then I got upset because, like, I'm trying to explain to her everything. And then, like, she asked me the same question again. And I'm like, man, I'm trying to already, I already explained that to you. So, like, I don't know. I just get, I got bugged. And I kind of just, you know went crazy and like i didn't i didn't like i didn't cuss my mom out none of that but like i just was like man like damn you're not paying attention to this like it's like oh, the damn demon just got in me man because it was just like but that day it was because like like i said i haven't got no sleep i freaking have walked from my house all the way to um city place which is maybe like a 25 30 minute walk because most of y'all probably are not from dallas so you know from where I live at to where I walked to, it was about like probably 30 minutes, 30 to 25 minute walk. Then I freaking had to stop at the store, get some stuff. Then I caught the bus, went to the thing that came back and it was just a whole damn, you know, waiting for the bus and it was hot. And so it was like I flipped. And 
like I told her, like, man, because then she, she tried, you know what I'm saying, like, she then, like, kind of cut me off and tried to then, like, was, like, giving me attitude, and I hate when people give me attitude, so I was just like, man, look, it's not for you to get mad, but I'm just, you not understanding, I'm hot, I'm not feeling good, I'm in pain, it, it's been a long ass week with no damn, with no damn, um, you know, getting no sleep, none of this, and I guess that's what it bothers me the most, too, is that I can't get no damn sleep, like, every day for the last one knows how many months, I just literally been up and 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 up, and it's like, when I really feel like I'm going to sleep, stupid stamp, scam likely be on my damn phone, and that shit pisses me off, so I'm just like, man, whatever, like, right now, as I'm speaking to y'all, I feel like I'm freaking, like, like, I feel like fire is in my body. I'm starting to freaking sweat and feel really damn hot. And I don't like that feeling. But, uh, anyway, so, yeah, that's just what, you know. i just been going through a, a crazy time in life, you know what I'm saying. And it's more crazy when you have no one to really hear you out. Or, like, say, for instance... There's some stuff, like, you know, I usually could tell my mom anything, but then there's some stuff that you just don't want to tell your parents because you just don't want to hear that they're right, you know what I'm saying? That's anybody, you know, from an adult to a kid to whatever. You don't ever want to hear your parents because mothers and fathers know best and they know they know everything. So it's like, you know, you never want to hear that damn truth. So it's like, you know, I've been going through a lot of shit, like, in my personal life, and it just sucks because I really can't let it out to anybody and it's like when I try to, even when I talk to God or like, I'll be looking at my cousin's picture like when I'm talking to her. I know that might sound kind of crazy, but I'm not crazy, but I'm just saying it might sound a little crazy, but I just, that's the person who I always would run to for my problems. So it was like, as I, as I start speaking, I start like getting emotional. Then I like tears start running down my eyes. So I'm just like, man, you know what? Let me just chill. Like I was going on a rampage the other night. I literally was crying and crying. I, this time I cried for freaking hours and I was crying so bad that I've been holding so much inside that my chest just literally felt like it was getting knotted. Like, like I felt like I was my, my heart was just gonna stop on me. Possibility it could have stopped on me because the syndrome that I have could cause heart attacks. And that's not my Lynch syndrome, that's my other syndrome. I'm not gonna say no names on it yet. Uh, cause I'm supposed to be seeing a doctor for all that. I do got there is a name for it though, but oh, uh, I want to see what the doctors tell me now because from when I was a kid to now, it could always switch and be something different. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm gonna wait to tell y'all until I see the doctor for that, and I'm gonna go through freaking hell for that because they're literally gonna be inserting needles in my damn legs. And when I mean needles, no, not one, not two, no, not three. 20 needles in this leg and 20 needles in this leg. Reasons for that, because that syndrome intends to freaking, it's a devil, honestly. But, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I did it once and I was a kid, so hopefully I could do it this time without freaking cussing anybody out <laughs> or anything, because... Uh, it's painful man like it's a lot of painful shit but like I said I just I just feel like I don't I just feel like I can't let my let everything that I have because I have anger built in me I have anger I have hate and it's not that I hate anybody it's just that I hate what everybody's done to me you know what I'm saying I'm the type of dude that even when, even when somebody's hurt me so bad even when they diss me or push me away, whenever they need me, it's like I'm right there. For a lot of people, yeah, I brought them out of my life and pushed them out the way. Because at the end of the day, what they did was just too damn hurtful. And I just ain't trying to. And I'm not the type of person that, oh, yeah, I'm going to be cool with exes. No, you're an ex for a damn reason, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, all I can say is you should have not took me for granted you should have you know treasured me at the moment 
But like what I it's like somebody had even told me like, hey, why don't you do that that thing where it's like it's a thing that was kind of going around for a while where it's like you call your your exes up or whatever and see what they say. It's like hell no, I ain't trying to never ever do that. Like that would be a, the biggest mistake of my life. Like like I have too much hate and anger. Like I just can't do that. Like it would be a nasty ass video. Uh. And and yeah, I'm just saying, but I hope y'all had a great, amazing day. And we're going to give two shout outs. One is to a new subscriber and the other one, we're going to do a comment. So my brother's going to say the names. Hurry up. For, so well, come, for the, come right here, dude. So for the first comment, no, for, no, the, no, first, subscriber. The, for the first subscriber is... The first shout out goes to Monster Blondes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And the then, one. then in the comments is Max. Max. All right. Yeah, that's what the, that's what the uh, shout outs go to today. It was his idea to give out a shout out to um, comment whoever comment. Cause usually, usually I I. I uh, would say if you leave comments, whatever, I will give you a shout out. But mostly, majority of the time, everybody who leaves me comments is like the same people. So I don't want new people to be like, damn, you give a shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, like to the same people over and over again. So that's why uh, I was just like, okay, but you know. And the reason I gave a shout out to Max is because on yesterday's vlog, what he wrote was very touching and actually made me get kind of emotional. So I appreciate you sharing your story with us, man. Um, uh, on comment and like I, all I can say is like you say you know just keep your head up keep going be a better vision and a better father than what you had in your life and I really do apologize that you had to go through all that stuff man literally breaks my heart but you know I'm sure you're a good dude with a good heart and yeah and to my subscriber I really appreciate you man what was the name? Monster Vlogs? Yeah. Monster Vlogs. Monster or Master? Monster. Monster. Monster Vlogs. I appreciate you, man, for subscribing to my channel. And thanks to everybody who supports me in every way. It means a lot to me. With that being said, I'll s don't forget to... I almost forgot to say it. <laughs> don't forget to like this video. Comment, share, subscribe, join the team, join the squad, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. We're out. Chill.